In audio, there's basically two different types of volume. There's peak volume, and then there's also RMS, which stands for root mean squared, but is more commonly referred to and more easily understood as the average volume. So we have peak volume versus average volume. And how do the two differ? Well, what I've done is I've loaded two different audio files into two different Cubase tracks, one of which is a stereo snare drum, the other one is a stereo bass guitar track, and I've just put them in a loop. But let's take a look at the snare drum track. I'm going to double click that and then make sure that I have the definition tab selected. And then you should see a little percentage sign right here. And you can select instead of percentage decibels, which is a lowercase d and a uppercase b. When I select that, I can see that the largest peak in this file goes right to zero. And we're going to learn about how important zero decibels is a little bit later on. But that file is as loud as it can possibly get in reference to peak volume. Now I'm going to close that window and I'm going to do the same thing with this bass track. I'm going to double click it and you can see that the peak volume of any of this information really doesn't go much above about minus three decibels. So when most people think about volume, they think about the maximum volume, which is the peak volume. But the problem is that that's not really where the musical energy in the audio information is. Let me demonstrate this. I'm going to play the snare drum soloed. Okay, that sounds nice and loud. But now I'm going to mute that track. Wow. When I play the bass track, it's a lot louder. Now let's think about that. The snare drum track goes all the way to zero decibels, the loudest it can possibly go. Whereas the bass track doesn't get anywhere near zero. It's about 3 dB below zero. But why is the bass track so much louder than the snare track? Let me play them both together and you'll see what I mean. That bass track is just a lot louder. Now what's the difference? Well, the difference is that the snare drum has the larger peak volume. It goes right to zero. But the average volume, this thickness that you see inside of the bass track, is actually average volume, or RMS volume, root mean squared. And average volume is what is perceived by the human ear to be the actual amplitude of of an audio file. The more average volume an audio file has, the louder it will be perceived as being. So even though the snare drum file is technically louder, the bass track is actually perceived as being louder. And Cubase has a great way to show this. Let me select just one segment of the snare drum, and then under the audio pull down menu, I'm going to select statistics. Now you can see that the peak volume is 0.0, .0 decibels. It's as loud as it can possibly get. But look down here at the average volume. The average volume is about 19 decibels below zero. So I'm guessing that the bass track is going to have a much louder average volume. So I'm going to highlight the bass track and then go under the audio pull down menu and select statistics again. Now, when I look at that, look, its peak amplitude is about three and a half dB below zero when you average the left and the right together. However, the average volume is three decibels higher. So the average volume of that bass track is going to be perceived as being louder than the snare drum track. And now let's look at a real world example of those two different volumes, peak and average, by looking at a remastered CD.